Hey, it's Nick and Leonidas and Griffin with the Drisola's Happy Home Team. It's a beautiful spring day in the middle of February and we're deep in the wilderness of Seattle University. What's happening in real estate right now? Now you're probably wondering, okay, you got them strapped on hiking around because you're running out of ways to keep them in the frame and crappy dad puns and that's true. So prices, I think we're going to see the biggest hike ever. So the last price increase that was on record was in March. 2021 home prices went from 750 to 825 they went up 10 percent in a single month that's never happened a double digit price increase in one month before the last biggest increase you have to go all the way back to april 2012 prices went up 9.09 percent from 330 to 360. so uh right now you've probably seen headlines about you know homes selling for a million dollars over the list price the median price in Seattle area on the east side has surpassed Manhattan. So we're at a crazy tight inventory compression right now. You know, there's over 4 million people in the Puget Sound region, and only 1,200 homes for sale. So pun number two, interest rates have also hiked up to their highest level since the pandemic started. They're 3.69%. Um, and so that's also created kind of this pressure for buyers and the surge in demand because of the concern that they're gonna keep going up. And so people trying to get in while rates are still relatively affordable. So uh, economic news, so uh, Amazon just surpassed Boeing as the largest employer in the state. So they have over 85,000 employers, or employees rather. At the end of last year, one in 50 employed Washingtonians worked for Amazon, which is <laughs> crazy. And their head count has doubled since the pandemic has started to up to 1.6 million people. Uh, they're kind of, not to keep going on the Amazon uh, uh, train here, but also they just announced that they're doubling or nearly doubling their base salary maximum from 160 to $300,000. Um, that's very significant because in the beginning of this year in 2022, Washington State passed a, a new capital gains tax, which applies to $250,000 in gains on things like the sales of stocks and companies like Amazon historically would pay their employees in hefty amount of stock bonuses, which are now getting taxed at a new rate. And Washington is the only state on the West Coast that doesn't have state employment tax. So um, other things that we're seeing right now, so if you want to call, text or visit us online, we can tell you how much home could sell for in today's market and what kind of inventory is available.